It is the NBA Finals in the Mile High City. Welcome to Game 1 featuring your Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. Things are heating up outside of Ball Arena right now as Nuggets fans are getting ready for this Game 1, getting ready to cheer on their Denver Nuggets for the first time ever in the NBA Finals. We are hanging out inside the Grand Atriums. You can hear them. You can hear them getting fired up. Katie Wingy with Scott Hastings, and we are so excited to be joining you for this YouTube Live presented by UC Health because, Scotty, it's been 84 years since we've seen the Denver Nuggets play, and they are ready to go. Uh, yeah, you know what? You know what excited me? Because you, you've got to be honest, and, and I mentioned this the other day, in 07, the Rockies just went through the National League. They had nine days rest, and they, they just did something in their bed. Um, it's nice. been nine days, nine, ten days since, since the Nuggets played. But Jamal Murray's presser yesterday, he was so freaking locked in. Yep. I was like, okay, I'm not worried anymore. To be honest, and there's still going to be some rust because you, you can't practice. You know this. You can't practice like the game's going yep. to be, even if you go really hard. Um, but, boy, he's locked in. I think Joke is locked in. That's, that's the start of the avalanche that goes all the way down. Uh, to get everybody involved. I was just listening in at Coach Malone's press conference right before this, and he had a conversation with one of his daughters last night, and she goes, Dad, are you nervous? And he goes, you know what's funny is I'm not. And the reason why he's not is because he feels the Nuggets are so prepared and so locked in. And it was something he talked about. He said he quizzed the guys at Shooter on this morning, and he was so impressed with how dialed in this group is right now. Yeah, the, the, for me, it's going to be legs in mind uh, kind of first game. Legs of the Nuggets. Do they, do they have it? You know, are they ready to go? Have they been sitting out too much? So we got some rust. E even even uh, Miami's going to have some leg issues because of the thin air. But then is your mind. Is Miami worn out and want to take a day off? Is is Denver too rested? But listen, it comes down to this cat right here who's now got, I know he's not the three-time league MVP, but he does have three MVP trophies under his belt. He also has eight triple-doubles in the playoffs, averaging a triple-double within the playoffs. And this is, I mean, how are they going to try and slow down Nikola Jokic, Scotty? Well, maybe he's just missed three shots in a row, so I don't know if that's Fine. good or he's bad. He's getting so, the okay. misses out now. I don't want to watch defended. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are they going to play him? I don't know, Katie. You know, I, I talked about this on the radio show today. You and I have covered every game. Um, we've seen instant uh, doubles. We've seen doubles off the dribble. We've seen doubles from the backside. We've seen fronts. We've seen uh, a smaller guy on him, bigger guy floating. We've seen zones. Um, he, he's seen, look at my ties all askew. He, we, he's seen absolutely everything. So This I, team I, has when it comes to him. Yeah. I, you know what? The, the best thing I've seen work for them over the last six or seven years was a steady diet of fronts. But they've worked on that. Fronts, they're flashing guys. They're free throw line, high, low. And now he's going to get a layup. But I, I, I'm going to be interested to see if they don't try to front him a little bit. Well, we're going to see a lot of different coverages on Nikola Jokic, a lot of different looks. Eric Spolstra is sure to do that, and that's a big part of Miami's identity is their defense. And something's got to give tonight, Scott Hastings. The Nuggets have not lost at home yet throughout the playoffs. Miami has won every single game one that they have played in so far in this playoff run. What do you think is going to be the most important detail for the Nuggets? Well, I believe there's a team in yellow and purple that have won uh, every game one also, and Denver took care of them. I, listen, I, Miami... I think they're quick, they're fast, they're well coached. I think he's the best coach, I said, Spolster, in the league. Um, if you turn the ball over, and I heard you on the radio interview the other day, uh, if Denver takes care of the basketball, I, I, I'm not seeing a scenario where they lose, e even tonight. So if they take care of the basketball, uh, and we had Tim Legler, and he said the way that Denver can get rebounds and go, he said put so much pressure on their team, I couldn't, couldn't disagree with him on that. So... If Denver takes care of the basketball, you got to make shots. Still a make-miss league. Um, but I, I just think if, if Denver plays its best and Miami plays its best, Denver's a better team. Yeah, they're more talented. They're deeper. They, they'll... I couldn't agree with that more. But you got to play the games, right? And, yeah, and, and you, you have never to know. Show up. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, if we're talking best case scenario for Miami versus best case scenario for the Nuggets, the Nuggets are going to come out on top, on yeah. top in that situation. Okay, we have a couple fan questions that are rolling in. Who will be able to guard Jimmy Butler? Um, let me see if I got enough fingers on my hand. 
Uh, I'm sure they'll have Gordon on him some. They're going to have KCP on him some. They're going to have Bruce Brown on him some. I think The answer is everyone. Yeah, yeah, I think Christian Brown will be on him some. they got to watch him on his rolls. They'll do fake, fake pick and rolls where they'll, they'll look like they're setting up one side to get the big slide over, and then he'll reverse and go the other way. If they stay in contact with him, force him to the screen, get help, and let's see if other people can do stuff. But he's, hey, that guy can play. Let's talk about that a little bit deeper here because Aaron Gordon, he was talking about all of the defensive challenges that he's had so far in the playoffs. And he said what makes Jimmy unique is he can score in every way. His game is so broad. He can beat you on a cut. He can get an offensive rebound. He can score from all three levels on the floor. What's most impressive about what he does offensively? His leadership, to be honest with you, I think he makes, and, and, I, and I fall in love with guys uh, in the league that, that make their teammates better. And I think Jimmy Butler is a make your teammate better. I think Nikola Jokic is a make your teammate better. And, and I, I, I really do. I love watching those guys. They play the game the right way. Um, Butler doesn't want to go in the paint with Gordon, I don't think. Gordon doesn't necessarily want to be ISO'd with a quick Butler. But listen, he, he had to guard Steph last year. Butler's not as quick as Steph. Yeah. Right? He's not I mean, being he's, run off as many yeah. screens. But he is quicker than Carl Anthony Towns. Yes. So I'll give him that right there. And quicker than, probably quicker than LeBron, too. We are looking at the two best three-point shooting teams in the playoffs in the NBA. Miami just ahead of the Denver Nuggets. How important do you think both making threes offensively for Denver and defending the three-point line will be? Well, I think it's going to be massive. Um, and that's when you look about when those games against Boston, when Boston got outplayed, they, they didn't make threes and they gave up too many on the other end. Now, they have been outstanding in the postseason. They were just an average team in the regular season. Let's hope they go back to average these last 10, 12 days of the season. But listen, it's like anything else. You, you just got to contest. You got to make every shot. It can't be wide open shots. That's when players make shots. And this guy right here, I think for Denver is important. I, I think he's got to live between 15 and 23. Uh, between 8 and 12 rebounds a night. And I think if he gets those numbers like he did against the Lakers, I, I, again, I, and make make at least three, hopefully four threes in a game. Yep. And, and I, I think, I, I just think it toughens them up, toughens Denver up. I actually think Michael Porter Jr. will be one of the toughest guards for Miami because he's 6'10". Who do they have that's going to be able to stop him? I mean, he can drive past some of the bigger players or shoot over some of the smaller guys. Yeah, and, and they don't have a whole lot of size. It's going to be interesting what they do. And Michael lights up in this postseason when they put, like, a Vincent. If they put a small yeah. guard on him, he lights up. The, the key for Michael is don't make it easy because – you and I, you even a better chance than I, can guard anybody, including Michael Porter, if he just stands on a wing and doesn't move. Because you know what? I ain't leaving him. And so I know he's not going to hurt me. But he's got to move. He's got to make things tough. He wants to get guys switched out on him. Let littler guys get him. And when he does get beat, he's trailed to play well defensively, so that's good. But, but we know for Michael, the first thing we think about for Michael is his offense. You know, I mean, that's the first yeah. thing. And he's been a terrific rebounder. Nine yeah, rebounds yeah. per game in the playoffs, nearly yeah. averaging a double-double. So I think that's another way where he can that's find big. some easy ways to score and help Denver get out and run because he's yeah. handling the defensive glass. Uh, Thor would like to know what's the key to stopping the heat from the three-point line and, and maybe taking that a step further. Where do the heat get their three-point three, three point looks from? Well, let me get my pen on. I'll show a diagram right here. Can we get a dry race board? We should get a whiteboard. Yes, we should. Whiteboard? Yeah, yes, can we, we, get should. A we should. Um, I, and we put it right here for the sun. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sweating. The biggest way to stop threes is, is make Miami play free throw line and up. Because it, and it's the same thing for Denver, too. Yep. If your offense is free throw line extended, so take the free throw line, extend it out to the sidelines, and higher, if that's where your offense is moving, you ain't going to get a lot of good luck threes. So the key to stop Miami's threes is not letting Butler get down inside the block, not letting uh, Vincent or any of the other players 
get down inside and then kick out. So if, if you want to stop a team from shooting threes, including Denver, keep the ball, ball above the free throw line. And it has to start with defending dribble penetration there. You can't let you can't let guys blow by you, have that help rotate over, because then it's pass, 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 and Miami is elite at passing up good shots for great ones. Yeah, Chuck Daly helped teach me this years and years ago. When you break down a defense, and you're talking about the straight line, and you get below your defender, you now put all the pressure on your other four teammates. Yep. Right? So someone's got to move. You're not going to move? I got a layup. If you're going to move, you're going to slide over from the baseline, bounce pass. I got a layup. You're going to come in from the wing. I want to jump stop, pivot. I got a three point shooter yep. right there. See that fundamental? Jump I stop, do. pivot. Jump stop, pivot, pivot. first. Because you know what? No you, jump passes here. No, you know what you do when you jump stop, pivot? Don't turn the ball over. That's what you that's, don't do. That's a key. That's a key. You can see Nuggets fans filing in behind us. And it's going to be like this for the two home games here at Ball Arena, but it will also be like this for the two road games in Miami because we've got some watch parties happening here at Ball Arena. You can join us, Super Mascot Rocky, the Drumline Hype Squad, Nuggets Dancers. Everybody will be here. There'll be contests, giveaways. The parking is free. Concessions are available, and all the proceeds go to KSE Charities. Tickets are $20, available at Nuggets.com. Altitude, we will also be there with our pregame yep. shows hanging out. It's the place to be for the Nuggets road game. So fun. Yeah, and I, I, I get a fan question. What do you think is hard for me to put on my Pistons championship ring or my Miami Heat game jersey? They both they both shrunk uh, over the years. Oh, wow. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird, That's right? That's really weird. I wonder right. how that happened. You put them in the dryer? I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> So much is happening outside Ball Arena. So much is happening inside Ball Arena. You can feel the energy of the city. It's been building over the past week or so. For the Nuggets, how do you balance being excited and letting that drive you, but also taking a breath and being focused and disciplined here? Well, now this is where the nine or ten days helps because you could kind of do – listen, they've never beaten anybody in the Western Conference Finals, so they achieved that. Enjoy that for a couple of days. So maybe that 10 days helps you. Um, you. You know what? When I won a championship and I was fortunate and, and, and you didn't have social media and you didn't have all the stuff you have now, but it was lockdown. Yeah. You didn't go out. You didn't see nobody. When you went on the road, you stayed in your hotel. In fact, I'll tell you a little secret. This will tell you how long ago it was. I was the VHS runner. So I had to go down to the VHS rental store and get, get all sorts of movies and bring them back to the hotel because no one left the I mean, it it's total lockdown. That way you could stay away from all this. Problem nowadays, this right here. Yeah. You can always see what people are saying, good or bad. Well, and everybody's reaching out to you and contacting you and saying good luck and asking for tickets and saying, can you get me in and a multitude of different things. But now you know why LeBron, every playoffs, always shuts down all of his accounts and, and goes dark. And, and I don't I don't think that's a bad idea, to be honest with you. All right. I mentioned Coach Malone spoke to the media earlier. Let's listen in on that press conference. Nicole, starting with him, that's probably the thing I marvel at most is over eight years um, how consistently great he has been. I mean, like for him to do it every single night, that is a, a talent, that is a skill that only historically great players are able to do every night, bring that greatness. And to your point, to be averaging a triple-double in the NBA playoffs, uh, heading into the finals, I think only a few guys named Wilt and Magic have done that in the past. So he's up there with the greatest players of all time. Um, and with Jamal, you know, I think the last time we saw this was when we were in the bubble. And obviously, you know, the last, this, that was the last playoffs he, he participated in prior to this year. And for Jamal, it just seems like as the stakes get higher and the stage gets bigger, he, he embraces that. He doesn't shy away from that. So I think more than anything, it's a mentality. It's a, an, an, an inner belief and a confidence that they have in themselves and their teammates and um, they go out there and, and, and continue to show and prove every single night. And that's why I'm just so excited for, uh, to watch our team in these finals. We know it's going to be the hardest challenge of our lives. KCP is the only world champion on our team. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, uh, we can find a way to bring the first championship here to Denver. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everybody. You heard Coach Malone talk about Nikola Jokic there, but I want to talk about Jamal Murray and what he's been able to do because in the finals with Nikola Jokic going through his warm-up, 
We'll switch back to Joker right here. How consistent has he been and how amazing has it been that he's been as consistent? Well, it, it, it's, it's so amazing that the first year when he started playing and, and, and started doing everything, you were like, how's he doing this? You know, it, it, oh, that, oh, that's like, oh, no, oh, oh, he had him, had, no, I, no I, and then now, and we've talked about, now he has a tough game. We're like, ooh, what happened? Yeah. I mean, it, it's the point now that when he struggles, and listen, he didn't shoot a high, high percentage against the Lakers, um, only 53%. And we're like, well, usually he's like 58, 59. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, listen, I've, I've seen a whole lot of great players. He's right up there. We had a discussion the other day. If, if the Nuggets can win this ring, he may already be in the top 20 all-time NBA players. All-time. Yep. So let's get a ring for him. I was going to say, let's have that conversation a little bit later on. But we'll go back to talking about Nicole Jokic's counterpart, Jamal Murray, who... Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals, there was no player that averaged more points than Jamal Murray, and Coach Malone just said it. He shines brightest on the biggest stages. Well, we, 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 are we going to listen to him? No, we're not going to listen to him. I just wanted you to talk about him. Oh, I thought you, I thought you I were going to, to talk oh, there about you, him. That's a my life. I'm yeah. bad. I just wanted to see him and ask you what you were thinking he's going to show up like tonight. Well, and I'm going to go back to our very first conversation tonight was that press conference he had yesterday. Yep. I mean, I mean, just just the maturity of which he speaks, how he's locked on. We know he's a fabulous scorer, and you can see. Listen, we just saw two great moves over the, over what everybody was saying is the best defensive big man, the NBA. His confidence level, and even even in games where he'll struggle shooting early, which I think game two and in, in against the Lakers, yeah. the first half, he has 23 in the fourth quarter. I mean, he's he a just, heater. He's a heater. Yeah, he's just, he, he, he's amazing. I mean, I, I, I hope 20 years from now when we all look back in this, this series, um, A, I hope I can still remember, but, but two, just how special these, these two guys in particular, this team really in particular is win or lose, win or lose. The, this group is a special group. Final question for you. What are you most looking forward to tonight in this game one? Um, a cool drink. I'm sweating. I'm sweating my rear end. I'm nervous. No, the sun is no, beating in nervous. right here, shining bright. Getting it started because you know what? When when I went through this at 29, 30, um, you just go through it, and everything is you know whatever. And and until we won it, then you went okay. This is a moment I don't ever want to forget. Yeah. And live this moment. Live in this moment and understand what you've you've got in front of you to achieve, and 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 then, but then just play. It's still basketball. Yeah, it's still basketball at the end of the day. Go get that hickory. Oh, you know, 94 feet, 16, uh, 10 feet here, <laughs> 16. Start measuring the court. It's the same court. It's the same court they've been playing for 28 years. Yep. If you're Nikola Jokic. And Nuggets fans can take that advice too. Be present. Enjoy this. Enjoy this ride and take it all in for what it is. We've got all of your coverage on Altitude TV. Thank you for joining us on this YouTube Live presented by UC Health. Turn on your TVs to Altitude right now. Nuggets courtside is starting in just a couple minutes. Full hour-long pregame show. Completely diving into this matchup. And then after the game, we'll have the locker room report. Interviews with players. Hear from head coach Michael Malone. We've got it completely covered for game one in this entire NBA Finals. Thanks for joining us, Nuggets Nation. It's time for the NBA Finals.